up? This is Jay Steve, Trial Forge Records. I'm here to talk a little bit about Machine and Cubase. Machine is one of my favorite tools for drums, for percussion, but it doesn't play nicely out of the box with Cubase. I'm going to show you how to, to get it set up where it works properly for you. So we're in Cubase now. I just pressed F11 there to open up my VST instrument rack, and I'm going to load a Machine into it. Cubase asked me if I want to create a MIDI track assigned to Machine, and I do, so I'll click Create. Now, here's where the problem comes in. If we press, if we're used to working in Cubase, we want to sequence through Cubase. Well, out of the box, Machine isn't set up for that. It's set up to sequence in Machine. So what we want to use Machine as is basically a tone module. And I'm going to show you how to set it up so that works with Cubase. Cubase being the brain that sequences and triggers machine. All right, we'll load a kit and uh, we'll just pick one of these. Uh, I guess the uh, 909 kit will work. Load it in A. And here's the problem we'll start machine, uh, we'll start Cubase playing here and I'll play something. You can see there's no MIDI information. There's no MIDI information coming into Cubase. So Cubase can't record anything. So we're gonna fix that now by going to the, the little down arrow on group A here and click sound MIDI batch setup. Now we're gonna make sure this is set to sounds to MIDI notes. The default is set on this restore default. So we're gonna set it to sounds to MIDI notes and click apply. Now in Cubase, on the track here, we're going to make sure we have, instead of all MIDI inputs selected, we're going to have the machine MIDI out selected as the input to this track. Now when we record, it's going to record the notes we hit on machine, and it's going to trigger them back to machine as a sound module. So we're going to record a little pattern here and see how it works. You can see we have MIDI notes in Cubase now. If I double click on the MIDI pattern, you can see them inside the, the inspector. So it's recording. Now if we press play to play back, it's working properly. So one of the easy way, if you're, if you're so used to using Cubase to record MIDI on separate instrument tracks, you can now do that without having to worry about the sequencer inside machine. And you can, you can have multiple tracks here. So we'll add another, we'll duplicate this track and we'll put a hi-hat pattern on that. I'm just copying this pattern right now so there's drums through the whole thing. Now we'll record a hi-hat pattern over the top of that. Now you have independent control on your tracks. So if you want Cubase to control, you have Cubase control. And so if you want the, to drop the drums, the kick and the snare out, you can just mute that track in Cubase and the hi-hats will keep playing. If you just want the hi-hats going, you can mute the hi-hat track. So it gives you independent control over the patterns in Cubase and uses machine the machine library as more of a sound module. This is Jay Steve, Job Forge Records. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe.